It's always a party at Patchworks. Let's get this party started. Woot woot. Hi everyone. This is Julie from Patchworks and I am so excited that you're joining us for another Must Sew TV. Tonight we're talking about all things Tula and we have Tammy at the keyboard and Frank behind the cameras. So if you have any questions, just let us know. We'd be more than happy to answer anything that you might have on your mind about fabric and quilting and all things patchworks. So tonight we are going to talk about month 11 of our We Heart Tula Club. And so we have a special fabric pack for you today. And Frank, let's zoom overhead again. And in the over in in this pack you can see we were inspired by the backgrounds of the Nebula quilt finishing kit, which we do have. And we have some beautiful fairy fairy dust here, and we have backgrounds. Ooh, we added in this gorgeous light from Curiouser. And then we also added in this guy here, just showing you how you can use feature fabrics in with the basic fabrics for a fun project. Julie Herman has shared in her Nebula group, as well as in her email that she sends out. And if you are making the Nebula quilt and you haven't subscribed to her emails, I highly suggest that you do that. And so she has a special video that she released for where she talks about ideas for quilting and cutting and binding and also just taking things to the next level. Now what she wants you to know is that just because we're at month 11 doesn't mean that we're done. I mean, I know there's a couple of you who have finished up along the way, but some of you may not have even started your blocks. And so she is continuing her Facebook group for the Nebula, as well as she is going to kick off her emails starting again for steps one through 12. So if you wanted to be on that list for more inspiration and more Jaybird quilt, super important tips and tricks, you can go ahead and sign up for those. We wanted to share with you today some really fun things that are going on with some other Tula fabrics. So before we put this guy away, so I have finishing kits still available. I don't mean to scoop, to gloss over this, but we have the finishing kits that are available as well as we have been cutting to order if you had wanted to make another one. We have more line work on order if you were looking to make the black and white setting version. And we have in the uh, wide backs as well. So we have the sketch here, we have the two curiousers, and super soon we will have the daydreamer ba wide backs as well. So super, super fun. Any questions on this? Tammy, any questions? All right, so she's shaking her head no. If you're joining later and you had questions about this, please make sure to just hop in and I will make sure to answer those along the way. All right, so I'm super excited about what I have behind me. Isn't this amazing? So Heidi went ahead and she made the Comfort and Joy quilt from the Holiday Homies flannel fabric. So for those of you who have been a member of our Tula Club, you've already received this pattern in a previous month. If you are just watching right now, Tammy's including that link so that you can go onto the Free Spirit website. We have put together these fat quarter towers of the 17 fabrics from the Holiday Homies line. We do have all of these fabrics still on the bolt, and we have a ton of these 
project in and it's just you know it's time it's time to be thinking about the wintry stuff and as the weather's turning a little bit it's time to you know oh I don't know whip out those flannel quilts start playing with the flannel and let's just take a recap of this fabric in case if when we showed it to you back in the day when it first came in it was just too early that's one of the things about Christmas and holiday fabrics is that sometimes it just comes in too early and now in I guess we're starting November, you know, we're thinking about, ooh, now time to be cozy and drinking more coffee and all that good stuff. All right, so let's take a peek here at the great fabric. So we have some great fabrics. There's a red, a green, a white, and a black that came with this line. We didn't include the white or the black in this fat quarter pack because we thought that um, you might want more or less of the white and black. So this is a really nice soft flannel. This might be one of my favorite non-focal prints here. I just love, love, love this. And then of course we have the fun focus prints. If the focus prints are a little too whimsical for you, you can absolutely make this quilt with just the smaller pieces. And then as we get into the black and red with a titch of white, you know, this even is just your classic Wisconsin Northwoods cabin or your Madison colors. So beautiful palette. This is our Fat Quarter Tower. The Fat Quarter Tower is $64.99. We have all of this available as yardage on the bolt. And the pattern here looks just like this. So we went ahead and we just made our quilt without the inner and outer border. You can either finish it borderless, or you can imagine what border you'd like on it. So here, um, digitally rendered, this plaid has been put on it with this one. Let's take a peek here. So this would be the border if we added that. Maybe you wanted to have a different border, and maybe you even wanted to have it be lengthwise. So let's just take a peek at the quilt behind us here. So I could imagine with this even just putting a black end right on it to do a black inner border and then you could choose whatever you'd like. You could have the deer, you could have the plaid. If you wanted it to be continuous, this is the finished size is 82 by 92 so that's really a nice ample quilt and so the 92 is just over two and a half yards and so if you wanted the whole piece you could get two and a half yards cut two lengths of fabric to put it on because it would be shorter before you put your top and bottom on so that is an option if you wanted to just do a traditional um, outer border, Tammy had let us know since we went ahead and had the fat quarters for the insides of our block. For your inner border, you modification a little bit less, two thirds of a yard, outer border two and an eighth if you're piecing it. So hopping to two and a half so that you can just use a length piece, that would be really a nice, not too expensive option for that. And then your background, which is black, is three and an eighth. But let's say you wanted to do the inner and this, right? I would go ahead and get three and three quarters for that. Sound good? Bump it up to four, maybe 10. If you love, love, love this, we do have yardage and packs in stock, but you might want to hop in and get the bundles sooner than later because, well, you know, once I show something, it's super exciting. So this is the Holiday Homies 17 Fat Quarter Tower. 
Item number 305549 for sixty four ninety nine. All right. Isn't that one fun? So how many of you have started on any holiday sewing? <gasps> uh, I don't know. I think it's time for our first trivia question of the night. So our trivia question is going to be, who is your, it's more of a question, who's your favorite character uh, in the Holiday Homies line? So we have the dog, the deer, and the goose. And a bonus entry for you if you name Tula's name for the character. Ha 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 ha. All right, and the winner will get a vintage piece of Tula fabric. Hoo, hoo, hoo. And what we do is we draw names. If you've never played with us before, we randomly draw from the entries that have been given. Make sure that you enter Friday by Friday night and then Saturday morning at 9 a.m. We do a drawing on Facebook Live and we have some great lucky winners. All right. We have some other really exciting things that I wanted to show you with the Holiday Homies to just give you a little bit of inspiration about that. So I am going to hop over and have Frank give us a little show about the different show and tell that we have. So first he's going to show us, oh sure, we have a question about the quilt before we hop to more inspiration with Holiday Homies. So the question is, is the fat quarter tower enough to make this quilt? So what you will need is you will need the fat quarter tower and background to make it. So to make just this part right here, you would need three and an eighth yards of black and the fat quarter tower. If you wanted to have that inner border, go ahead and bump that black up a little bit. Go ahead, get three and a half, three and three quarters, four yards of black, just so you had enough. Uh, black is a really nice uh, basic there. And then add additional borders as desired. But what we did with this fat quarter tower is that we did a fat quarter tower instead of a kit that included the background to be more versatile in case if you wanted to do something else with it. But otherwise, these 17 fat quarters plus a background will get you the quilt behind me. Any other questions about the quilt? Okay, so let me know along the way as we're just gonna show you some really fun stuff. So Frank, let's see a whole picture of the quilt. And here you can see the digital rendition of the quilt that has the pieced border on it. Then we have another, if you've been uh, using the Free Spirit website as a little bit of an inspiration, we have a Quillo that's also a free and downloadable pattern. I didn't provide the link for that, but that would be the same area that you would be if you went on from the link that Tammy provided for the other pattern. Now, I am part of a Tula Pink uh, Facebook group, and there's a ton of those online. And I just, they were sharing this week all sorts of fun inspiration with this fabric, so I thought I'd share some with you. I don't have any of the particular patterns available, but I just think that that's super cute here. So here is the start of a project using the characters as the center squares of a log cabin. Here we have simple squares with some elongated flying geese, there's a better name for this, but it, that's just so super, super stunning using some solids and solid fabrics. What about using it to make a tree skirt? Being inspired by the diamonds from Jaybird and all of the fun projects that she has, you could play with some things. This really is reminiscent of Set Sail to me. 
And here, oh my goodness, this one's amazing. So this is the Violet Craft pattern of Atomic Starburst. And so that's a paper pieced and traditional pieced pattern. So paper piecing with flannel would be a bit difficult. So those paper pieced piece, those paper pieced pieces are actually flat cotton, I believe. And then you have, you can have them back and forth between flat cotton and flannel in a project. Here, this is, I believe this is a Zen chic pattern. And it's really fun how you have the squares and then you have that offset giant, giant snowflake. Super fun. You could be whimsical and play with squares and then put some stars scattered throughout. How about just squares and a sawtooth border? Super cool. Ooh, this one's fun. So this is strips and sewn together into half square triangles, giving that illusion of the night of that mitered edge. An elongated nine patch. This one here, so this is just squares, but you can see that um, this quilter used a modified palette of only the greens and blacks. So it gives it a much different, much more controlled look. Very sophisticated. I can see this being a little bit more of a masculine quilt. Here you have the characters set on point, put in square and a square. And then you have them sashed with some great, um, just little piano keys there. And then if you can see, what's really interesting here is, you know, if you are struggling with math for the insides, don't worry, just frame things out until you end up with that nice even number if you're making your own pattern. So that, um, frame things out so that you get to be where you need to be with the math for your piano key sashing. And then this one here, this one is boxed in, which is an inspirational piece on the Free Spirit website. It is a for purchase pattern. And if you are on the Free Spirit website, you can get a link to that pattern. So I hope I've inspired you with some amazing things that you can do with your Holiday Homies fabric. Someone had asked me yesterday, they came in and they said, Julie, I've never sewn with flannel. What's the trick with sewing with flannel? So the first thing that I would recommend is that you pre-wash your fabric. You know, I don't always pre-wash everything, but the really soft flannel sometimes has a little bit, or not sometimes, it has a thicker yarn and can be more apt to do a little bit of shrinking. So if you went ahead and pre-washed, then any shrinking that would occur would happen before you make it. You don't have to. I just wanted to say if there is a difference. The other thing that you could do and is that you can start, go ahead and starch your fabric a little bit heavier than what you might starch your regular cotton fabric. And that way it will give it a little bit more body so that it behaves a little bit more underneath. As you're piecing your flannels together, you typically want to stay with a simpler pattern so that you don't have a lot of bulk in too many seams. That will be pretty much your most difficult challenge. Pin and just have fun. Don't be too serious about it. And especially if you're putting on borders, pin, 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 pin. Don't stretch because then you're just gonna make it grow and that is not the desired result. So, if you've been following Tula, you know Daydreamer's about to ship. So before we talk about Daydreamer, 
I have a couple deals for you because we got to make room for all of the amazing daydreamer that's coming. So we have it buried in here. We didn't tell anybody about it. So you guys are the first to know. Isn't that exciting? It's super exciting. All right, let me grab what we have for the super duper sales, okay? Dun, 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 dun. All right, so first off, Mad Hatter Tea Party Quilt Kit. We have two of them left. <gasps> highly desirable, highly sought after, highly collectible. So these have never been opened, right? You can store them in your Tula vault, keep them for a couple years, and then they'll quadruple in value. You'll be able to buy a mortgage for your next house with it. Okay, I can't guarantee that. But regular price is $199.99, and our special clearance price for this is, and I probably should have written it down before I hopped over here, and so I'm leaning on Tammy, who is going to tell me in two seconds what it is, because she'll be able to let us know. Mad Hatter. She didn't know I was going to have Mad Hatter, so she's super excited. There's two of them. I know. Okay, so apparently it didn't appear on the website changed. It is. I'll have to quick check. I'm so sorry. The, oh my goodness, fail, epic fail. We have other bundles. So the yardage is still at the regular price, but our half yard and our yard bundles. Did you have the links for that, Tammy? Or did you not grab them? Okay, great. So there are 25 beautiful SKUs in here and Frank is going ahead and making sure that the pricing is modified here. And are you going to look overhead, Frank? So here we go. Oh, this is awesome. Okay, so we have 25 beautiful fabrics, the curiouser and curiouser and either the yard or the half yard. So I would be able to make a few more of those. I have one listed to there. If you need more, please, please, please let us know. We would love to hook you up. And the regular price on the yard tower is $325. The regular price, the sale price is $250 on the yard. The sale price on the half yard tower so the sale price on the tower is 125 and Frank's really upset with me right now and the kit is 149.99 Okay, the kit has been updated on the website. Good thing we're doing this upstairs, right by the computers. Woohoo! Okay, so hopefully that's exciting. Uh, and that is all I'm going to say about that. We have some new stuff coming. Tammy, did you have a question for me? Sure, now that I don't have them in front of me, I would love to tell you. So this kit right here, $149.99, normally $199.99. The half yard tower, one normally $162.50, oh, $125. And the full yard tower, which would be regularly $325, is $250. Really great deal, $10 a yard on this can't go wrong, your Tula discount would not apply on top of that. Okay. Whew. So, I apologize for that. It's supposed to go a little bit smoother than that, a little bit more exciting. Okay. So, what is exciting though is that the Daydreamer is just around the corner. So, we have been told 
that Daydreamer is going to start shipping on the week of November 10th, going west to east, okay? So we have so, so, so much coming and I'm super excited for you. So the Daydreamer line, that is the one that Tula's been talking about. And Frank's gonna show you a little graphic of all of the fabrics. We do have the links available for the pre-order on our website. And look at those gorgeous fabrics. Aren't they pretty? They are so pretty. So we have the Pining For You kit, which is available. And I do have a few of you down. Remember back when we first ordered this back, back, back? So if you had said you had wanted it, we'll be contacting you. And if we don't contact you before then, go ahead, make sure you order that. We'll be calling you too to make sure that we can secure your copy. And then more importantly, we will be starting to cut our toes in the sand kit as soon as the yardage comes in. So the toes in the sand kit, which will be a block of the month for 2022, is based on the Daydreamer fabric. The Daydreamer fabric is not a, is not a basic. So you won't wanna hold out too long before you sign up for that toes in the sand block of the month. It's $199.99 for that quilt. We have full information for it on the website. We are offering month by month options as well. And for those of you who may already have the book, the price would be $169.99. I don't have that separate offer on the website because I didn't wanna have it be too complicated. I know it's already complicated. So we are super excited to be participating in that. Jaybird's going to be offering some guidance online as well. And that is the toes in the sand. So if you are interested in that, make sure you hop on and we will have all of that information available for you for that. I had, if you have already been listening to us, we have gotten our tiny beasts and the tiny coordinates online or on order and online for 2022. That's way, way out, but we have ordered it and we are excited for that as well. So be assured, we are continuing to be your Tula resource in 2022. All right, time for another trivia question. All right, so for our trivia question, we have, oh, talking about good stuff. We have a piece of Zuma and then wrapped around a piece of pink palms. Really fun little thing here. So, I would like to ask you, what is your favorite Tula line of all time? So, it's more of a, more of a survey than a trivia question, but I'd like to know what you like. And it'd be interesting to see how many of you have been Tula followers for forever. So, please share with us what your favorite line has been. Okay. Who's excited about some other fun stuff that we have been getting in? Me, me. Okay. It is getting to be that time where we need to get things not only just for for gifts, but for all, all sort, for us, for gifts, for all sorts of stuff. We got in these super cool insulated, let's just say, Adult beverage cups. You could put anything you want in them, but they are really nice. They are polar camels. They have a nice tight seal on them and some really fun word, er, phrases. So let's look overhead and we'll see what ones we have. So we'd have, I'd rather be quilting, wound tight, This is how I roll. Dear Santa, please send fabric. So delicious. Quilting is my cardio. 
quilting queen. How cool is that? So these are 12 ounce tumblers that are insulated here and it has an open top so it doesn't have a tip over top but it is a nice a nice cover so that it will be more difficult to have anything get in so you know as you're sewing you won't have all the lint getting into it these are 23.99 each we have them on our website and available in store as well of course we have a limited selection we can probably get some more uh, but this is just a fun addition fun little gifty items if you need a whole bunch contact me sooner than later so that we can get them on order I also want to share with you some new arrivals we've been getting so much fabric which is so exciting and new 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 today and I know this isn't Tula but this is kind of in the same plate it's a nice contemporary flavor we have Terry Town we have the Half Yard Tower and we also have received a few bolts here so this is Kimberly Kite for Ruby Star Society. Beautiful fabrics here. Look at those little houses, they're so cute. And turtles. Dots. Dice. Flowers. I don't know. Just a really nice texture. And another nice texture. These are available in store and online. It is Terrytown by Kimberly Kite. So are you, I know it is getting to be retreat season. How many of you are getting ready to go on a quilting retreat? I don't, so I haven't been on a quilting retreat for a few years and I know several of you have, are super excited to be going on your first quilting retreat for a very long time. So I'm so excited that quilting season is back. I'm going to wheel in our next set of fabric. We have some really great new holiday fabrics from Alexander Henry, which is super cool and a little, little edgy. All right, I think you can handle it. My Tula crowd can handle the edginess. So we're gonna start with the cute. So we have here, this is Sugar Plum Santa. Look here, you have the reindeer baking and it's making all sorts of great baked goods. Oh, making me hungry. And then we have, oh, because who doesn't need unicorns and Santa, right? So we have Santa riding a unicorn. I think Tula would approve of this. So then you have penguins, flying snowmen, and we have this print in the blue as well as the mint. And I'm just gonna be crazy here, okay? Are you ready for it? Look at this. Look at this. It works really, really well together. So if you have some Tula, you could have some fun with adding in some, some Santa flying on unicorns. So I know Tula would prefer we always use only her fabric, but I, I must think that she would approve. And 
last but definitely not least in the Alexander Henry arena. Dun, 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 are you ready? We have Santa's Little Helpers. Here we go. In four colorways. Oh. So, peace on earth. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. We have it available with the, this is the A background. The B background is the black background. Then we have the C, which is the green. And the D, which is sort of a retro and, okay, wait for it. Are you excited? Wait for it. Guess what? Guess what colors this D colorways goes with? Check it out. It goes with Holiday Homies. So, so exciting that you can blend your Holiday Homies and your Santa's Helper. I'm sure you are excited about that. Dun, dun, dun. This is Santa's Helper. So if we're not seeing the link right now, I'll make sure to post it right after. I might not have shared with Tammy that I was going to share this delightful fabric with you. So how many of you have ever used a pinup before in your quilting? I know one of our customers, she actually likes to put a pinup man on the back of every single one of her quilts. Very fun, very whimsical. Can play with them however you want. I think it's time for another trivia question. What do you think? All right. So this one's going to be exciting. Okay. So this is what... Frank's laughing. What's the name of Tula's newest fabric line that's coming out and shipping starting next week? The winner uh, or a randomly selected person who participates in the drawing will get this gorgeous piece of Palms fabric. Thank you so much for sending this our way, Margaret, who is our free spirit rep giving us some goodies for our drawings. Before we head into some show and tell, does anyone have any questions today? No questions, all right. Everybody's busy sewing. All right, so we have... Ooh, pillowcases. <laughs> pillowcases are really, really good. Really, really good. They're great fun gifts. And if you are, if you've never made a pillowcase with something like this, it is directional. So you want to make sure that you get a yard and a quarter and put a cuff on it so that you have, so that you have the guys facing the right way. Okay, because you don't want to sleep on them sideways. You want to sleep on them this way. Okay, just saying. So let's take a look at the show and tell. Make sure that you keep on sending your show and tell. We love, love, love to see it. And first we have some Nebula blocks from Diane. So Diane's been working to keep up on her Nebula blocks. So she sent a few pictures here. Great job. Points look beautiful. And we have another set of blocks as well. Great job. And then Sharon, who joins us from out of town, she finished her Tula Sew It Yourself pillow. Great, great job. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. We are going to be talking about the bonus 
Hillow in Nebula next month, as well as some fun projects that we will have received from the Daydreamer line. So the Daydreamer projects are going to be posting to the Free Spirit website after the fabric shop starts shipping. I was hoping to be able to include them this month, but I wasn't able to because they aren't quite available yet. For our show and tell winners, since we have just two, I thought I would incentivize more Tula show and tell. And Diane and Sharon, you are getting some, uh, you are each getting a fat quarter of this great background fabric here that will go beautifully with your club pack from this month. So congratulations to you. I know we're going a little short today. Um, does anybody have any questions before we conclude? All right, so we have some interesting things planned for you before the end of the year. We have still another Tula. We'll be doing two more. My favorite colors are Moda, two Moda Universities, and two Orophil Clubs. We will be changing up sometimes as I'm not going to be here to share with you on Thanksgiving night. I know that's really surprising. We are going to be open Friday and Saturday after Thanksgiving this year. Hoot, hoot. So that will be lots of fun. We will be releasing in the upcoming weeks how we're going to be formulating our 2022 clubs. We have, as I've been seeing the different fabrics from my fabric reps that have been coming through, it's been really exciting and really inspiring. Getting all of my uh, creative juices going. And one of the things that we're super excited about that I have to share with you because I just can't wait to tell you is that we are expanding the Tula Club next year to be a free spirit club. So that means that we're going to be including great options for CAFE, Tim Holtz, Victoria Finley Wolf, and of course Tula for you uh, in our club. We are committed through 2022 for carrying all of Tula's basics and carrying her upcoming fabric lines as long as you are interested in them, which is really exciting. And we are super excited to be able to add Victoria Finley Wolf as she as a free spirit designer now will be adding her fabric offerings to our curated offerings here at the shop. So how could we not uh, continue on in 2022 without including her in the fun? like to thank you so much for watching tonight. Make sure you answer trivia questions before Friday night. If you're interested in any of those Curiouser deals, please make sure to let us know. You can either purchase online or if we had sold out of either the half yard or yard towers, we can hook you up and make one for you. Um, the only thing we can't make more of is this Mad Hatter Tea Party Quilt Kit because the pattern is exclusive to the quilt kit. So uh, you're going to want to make sure to pick this up sooner than later so you can get all the good stuff. Thanks so much for watching tonight. Have a great night. Happy quilting. And we'll see you soon. <laughs>